Okay, one, two, three. Oh my, we fly! Eleven's in the house. Eleven's gang represents. So nice meeting you, man. Of course. Красота <laughs> просто несусветная. Очень хороший парк. Hey guys, welcome from Tbilisi, and today we're going to the most modern district of Tbilisi that is called Vakia. So I just ordered a Tesla taxi because if it has to be modern, it has to be modern all the way. So there goes my Tesla. Gamarjoba. Do you speak English? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Do you like the way the city's developing? Yes, I like. <laughs> Lots of tourism, right? Yes. Yeah. I think it's becoming uh, better over the years. What's the best thing about driving a Tesla? I think uh, the emotion of people. People who uh, call a Tesla uh, asked me to do cars like this. Oh, shit! <laughs> they should have warned me! <laughs> okay, guys, and, get, and get no, ready. And one. let's see green, I will. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, my! Are we flying? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, boy, we're flying! I also like the roof that you can see through it. Like, wow, it's transparent. <laughs> this is so cool. Now, when it comes to charging your car, is there enough charging places in Tbilisi? Yes, it's very many charging places in Tbilisi. Oh, okay. It's okay. no problem to charge. Hey guys, in this video, we're going to look at a district in Tbilisi that is known as Vakia. It wasn't until 1906 that it joined Tbilisi. Before that, it was just a, a small settlement. So today it has this image of being a top of the notch district of Tbilisi and there's a lot of expats living here and we'll try to understand why. What's the appeal of this part of town? And matter of fact, I just saw a bunch of school kids and I was really surprised because everyone was speaking English. So I came up to them and I said, why is everyone speaking English? And they said, it's just an international school. They have a lot of like uh, foreign students, local students that are very fluent in English. This park is called Vaki Park and it's kind of the focal point of the district. Привет! Я Маржарала Мазия. Вообще красота просто несусветная. Очень хороший парк. Замечательные детские аттракционы. Получили искреннее удовольствие. Супер. А вы всегда жили в Ваке? Нет. Мы вообще раньше... Он родился в Тбилиси. Я родился на Украине. Жена родилась в России. А Грузия страна любви. Мы здесь приехали. Супер. Чтобы он тут... Да. Чтобы ему было жарко. И он тут хорошо родился и хорошо жил. Всего доброго. Спасибо. Хорошего дня. Хорошего дня. This is a charging station for your phone. And I've seen these in Dubai. You want to charge your phone? No problem. As elsewhere in Tbilisi, parking might be one of the biggest drawbacks of this region because, you know, it's growing faster than it was, it was supposed to be, you know. So now you got all these cars, you know. And what can you do? Well, that's a nice one. G-Wagon. All right, let's look at the parking rates. For one hour, it's two and a half liras. A little bit less than a dollar, so I think it's pretty good. There's a lot of cafes and restaurants. This is the main avenue, and it was named after Ilyachev Chavadze, who was one of the leaders, members of the nationalist movement of the 19th century. It was about preserving Georgian heritage, Georgian language, and so they named this avenue after him. I don't know what the deal is, but I see a lot of Wendy's all throughout Georgia. I think they got a, a special contract with the government of Georgia, whatever. They gave them a bunch of locations and they invested heavily in the country. Which, I'm not mad at Wendy's because I used to work for them. Bald, it's the taxi service here. Similar to Uber. Look at this really cool old house, like stuck between the, all the modern buildings. This is a branch of Bank of Georgia, one of the few banks that still open bank accounts to the residents of Russia. So open the bank account with it. This is a branch of the second largest bank in Georgia called TBC and I also applied to open a bank account with them. In fact, it's funny in Georgia you gotta pay to, to, for them to consider your application. 
it's about $15. So they said no, and I said, well fine, I'll find another bank. See, it's green for me, and they totally ignoring the rules. They're like, look, you got some ultra modern building with high-end stores on the ground floor, and then you got some buildings from the Soviet era. So when it comes to choosing a place to live, some of the requirements I have for a neighborhood is, first of all, it has to be a safe place, which Vake is. Second of all, it has to have a lot of green areas, you know, somewhere you want to walk outside, enjoy nature and stuff. It has a lot of that. Now, third of all, um, it needs to have some restaurants, places to go to, plenty of that. The only downside I can think of is the transportational accessibility because there is no subway system here yet and traffic tends to be very congested but overall I really enjoy it it has this nice feel to it it's like very modern uh, looks good and uh, kind of enjoyable started raining guys this is not gonna stop us because we're gonna continue filming Tbilisi and the rain <laughs> You know, when it comes to real estate, you can find some really affordable deals in Tbilisi for like starting at $40,000. But here in Vake, like on this main avenue, uh, a nice apartment would go for something like $300,000. Only the rich uh, Georgians or foreigners can afford that. Because with the local rate of salaries, which is like $300, you know, there's no way you can afford that. So let's talk to some locals. What's your name? Okay. My name is Valeria. And have you always lived in Tbilisi? Um? Have you always lived here? Uh, no, just for one month. I'm a tourist. Oh, you're a tourist. Yes. Where, where do you come from? Uh, from Moscow. Oh, from Moscow? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we could do this all in Russian, but who cares? Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you like in the city? It's a very comfortable place. It's a lot of Классно. Что вас а, привело а, в Грузию? А, путешествия. Я уже полгода в них. Получается, два месяца в Таиланде, два месяца в Турции, сейчас здесь. Вот. Просто стала еще одной точкой. Супер. Да. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. А вы сами откуда? So this is a pretty cool building and it's called Pixel 34. It was constructed, designed by the German Bureau. Small world, guys. Oh, What's oh, up? Yes. How's it going? Uh, doing great. Doing great. <laughs> are you are you guys new to this part of town? Um, I just like the vibe here. It's close to the university, so yeah. it's super awesome. Yeah. We like Kachak Chavadze Avenue because we take it every day. Yeah. Yeah. I like the I like that it has a little bit more nature than Rista Valley. Um, I like that um, when you're it's way the sidewalk is like this is like kind of trivial, but the sidewalk is just uh, huge. Huge. It's so more comfortable to huge. walk. Yeah, it yeah. really Hey, it's Lado. Let's go to Zuru Park. Come on. Hey, did you know that Zuru actually means Sunny Park? Um, I just found that out. Yeah, so I know, I know. pretty awesome. I didn't know until this morning. <laughs> then the reason I looked it up, you know. Hey, Chad, you want to go get some coffee? Yeah, absolutely. Come on. Let's go, man. Um, I'm a, I'm a coffee fiend, so I, I love it, man. Oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> The rain is just uh, keeps going and going and going. Yeah. You know, Unpredictable weather, it was so hot. Yeah, it was hot. It was still warm. It kind of reminds me of back home though, to be honest with you, with like the, uh, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's pretty much Louisiana yeah. in a nutshell. Is coffee actually healthy? Yes. I, I read a study recently that said it increases your life, your, your, the length of your life. Yeah. Irregardless if you regardless if you put um, cream and sugar in it or not. Chocolate. Some say it's preventing cancer. Yeah. Yes. But could that be a marketing tool? Probably so. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, feels so good now. When I first got to Georgia, um, my initial impression of the country was that this was a country that was very much concerned about their future and really looking toward the future they had an eye toward the future and I think this area of Belize really personifies that I think even more so than Rustavelli Avenue to be honest with you 
I like Georgian people very much and if they want to, to pursue their goals, I wish them every success in that. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, would you say it's like the Fifth Avenue of Tbilisi? I'd probably say so, yeah. I'd probably say so. It kind of so. reminds me of that. Yeah, it does. I've, I've seen more um, Lux brand shops on this trip than yeah. I have doing Roosevelt. The only yeah. thing missing is the Trump building. <laughs> Give him time. <laughs> he'll, right. he'll probably watch your video and get an idea. <laughs> So guess who I came across, guys? Oh, is that Roman? Yeah, guys, I'm actually uh, three <laughs> feet tall. That is very true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah nice yeah, to nah. meet you, bro. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> I'm just on. kidding. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually a giant. But yeah, here we are. We were, supposed, we were trying to film for like the past three days, okay? And me, I was canceling, he was canceling, whatever. And now I come here and I find out we have like 10 seconds to record this video since soon. Let's get right into it. Yeah. You were in Tbilisi. Before yes. that, you lived in Chelyabinsk. Out of well, I lived in St. Petersburg for six months. Yeah, but uh, Chelyabinsk is my, my place, my hometown. Born you definitely and raised. got experience living in large cities in, in Russia. So how yeah. does that compare? It's a, that's a hard question, to be honest. I mean, I, to be honest, I like Belize more than my hometown. Like, I'm not a fan of Chelyabinsk, to be quite honest, you know. But obviously, you know, it's, I guess it's hard to compare with St. Petersburg. Yeah, I mean, I, I really love St. Petersburg, you know, and it sucked that I had to leave. But uh, this is still nice, you know, like, Belize is... Uh, actually way more than I expected to be true to be truthful you know and it's cool <laughs> so what's missing I would say maybe like uh, some stores you know like basic stuff I mean the, the, the stuff I'm gonna name is not even Russia anymore either you know I wanted to say like Uniqlo or something you know no Uniqlo so that sucks I like the vibe the people are cool and uh, outgoing and everything and that's what I love and also one thing that I love compared to Russian cities like uh, big Russian cities, especially Shadabinsk. Look at the na like look at the all the foliage in a city, like it's crazy. Like the trees and everything here, like they're like all giants. I love your shit, bro. Okay, please. Of course, yes, yes. Okay, but my camera is fucked, so I have to take a video, but I've got a screenshot. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. Right. I love your shit. Do whatever you gotta do, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm with no wait, hold on. Shit. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I mean, no fuckers, dude. I love your shit, yes. bro. I'm so happy. Yes. Nobody can touch dude. my swag. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I love your shit. Can I get a hug, bro? Yeah, of course. Of course. Did you record that? Yeah, I sure that did. Crazy. Sure <laughs> did. I was like, Hollywood star appearance, you know, yeah. celebrity walking yeah. on the Fifth Avenue. Which... Actually, like, uh, like three or four days ago, I got recognized like 13 times in a, in one day. It was wow. Insane. Yeah. So, so those kind of days, you actually get kind of used to it. But yeah, it's always fun. It's always fun. Yeah. Um, I like this neighborhood. Uh, the only thing is that I guess the only problem is that I can't really afford it, <laughs> which is funny. Well, since so many Russians came here and stuff, the rent prices increased a lot. And uh, the apartments here in this neighborhood, which is like, you know, the most, I guess, fancy, schmancy one, they used to go for maybe like, you know, 500, you know, like bucks, 600 bucks. Now these same apartments go for like 1500 bucks a month, which is like... 1500? Yeah, I mean, I've heard of places, yeah, that, that, that they rent like, it's it's like almost impossible to, to apparently to find a place in this uh, neighborhood right now for like less than 900 bucks a month you know wow. so i mean i don't spend much less to be honest i spend 800 right now <laughs> which is more than i spend in st petersburg by the way in a sense but yeah i like this neighborhood uh again it's like pretty much just a soviet neighborhood you have like soviet sort of uh, moscow style buildings like pedestrian friendly and stuff there's a lot of parks here and everything it's really nice well you know you got to realize like in georgia just like in russia the average salary isn't very high but there are there are people who make a lot of money who you know also work all sorts of like online jobs you know like IT shit and like uh, uh, video editing and stuff like that I actually know quite a couple of people like that here Georgians and they all like make decent money and they all live in this neighborhood so it's a very international vibe you know comparable to like any European big capital I guess you know you go out to a bar you meet like in one night you meet a guy from whatever you know uh, Dubai and Sweden and you know uh, Ukraine and whatever you know uh, all sorts of places basically America you know do you want to stick around here for a little longer I don't know what I'm doing so I'm just trying to get by and you know live day to day don't I don't make like plans too far ahead but yeah right now like I'm enjoying my time here and I'm just glad you know I can like support myself in this time somehow try to help out others and you know be a nice person whatever and yeah like I like it here my kind of goal would be probably to try to move to like some kind of a, you know, EU country basically. Like not as much, I'm not as much like 
fond of the idea of living in the US or something as I am to like living in uh, the EU. I think that would be cool. But yeah, if you look around in this district right here, as well, you can see that there's like, a, there's like a university literally on every corner here. This is like a university building right here. We're gonna go like down there for a little bit. There's gonna be a university. And this is like, I guess, a very youthful College place. town. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> We you're just from, you're from Chelevinsk? Yes. Chelevinsk in the house. Chelevinsk gang represents. Как Белиси? Отлично, очень нравится. Что нравится? Все. Люди, природа, еда. Что еще для счастья, в принципе. Работаете удаленно? Нет, я работаю здесь. Да, я спортсмен и работаю в зале. А, тренера. Да-да-да. Круто. Вот. Я как раз начал в зал ходить. Целых два раза сходил. Да. Ну, так что... Тбилиси отличное место, на самом деле. Особенно, да, особенно сейчас. Да, да, да. Много нас приехало сюда. Да, да, удивительно, да. что. Вот с одного района встретились даже. So, Roman, I mean, it's crazy times we're living in, right? Out yeah. of all places. Two guys from the Urals, we're meeting yeah. up in yeah, Tbilisi. Yeah, slap squad in here on the... Uh... <laughs> Let's do that. The, uh, yeah. I can't really do it too well because I had I was working out I had leg day like yesterday so I'm I'm dying here. But yeah. Uh this uh, series of events I guess has led to uh I guess an emergence uh, um, uh or an emergence of a new community I guess. Oh it is, totally, totally. Yeah. Like and, a Russian uh, community abroad. All of this has kinda uh, made us want to connect with each other more in a oh, sense, yeah. you know. Uh and bond, I guess. It's Which like IT cool. guys sticking together, you know, sticking together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do, we gotta do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, and uh, this the, the whole like uh, chain of events, no problem. Uh, just <coughs> just tells you how little you control in life. Like it, we, oh, we yeah. just talked about it. Like, who would have thought we'd on. meet on this day in this place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and like why? Yeah. You know, a year yeah. a year ago I wouldn't believe that. Exactly, like what you said. You know, it's hard to control, but. Uh, I guess it doesn't always have to be negative in the terms of your own life. In a sense of like, you know, a year ago you would have not. It would be, like I said, if you would have told me I was living in I was living in Georgia, I wouldn't I wouldn't have believed it. But uh, uh, this, I guess, means that there could be uh, positive changes that you cannot uh, predict in the future as well. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's what I want to hope for. Yeah. Keep yeah. a positive attitude, guys. Exactly. That's important. Exactly. All right. Exactly. <laughs> so nice meeting you, man. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I'm like sweating my ass off as well. I apologize. Uh, I'm sorry for being late. I would be in this video for longer if I wasn't. All right. Subscribe to Slava. Subscribe to me. Peace. <laughs> but wait a second. This tour wouldn't be complete without mentioning Turtle Lake, which is one of the highlights of this area. And you can get there by cable car or you can drive. This place called the Turtle Lake. It's unbelievably hot right now in Tbilisi. I think it's 90 something Fahrenheit or 32 Celsius. So we gotta freshen up, gotta get a lemonade. You can ride a boat with the roof because the sun is unforgiving right now and it's 17 dollars per 30 minutes. A little bit too pricey. Are you local? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like to live in Belize? Yes, of course. <laughs> What's your favorite place? I like to enjoy with my friends. Somewhere. Just hang out anywhere yeah. in, in restaurants or in some clubs. Yeah. Uh, fun. Plenty there. Where are you from? Uh, Russia. You speak English very well. Thank you. Too many Russians can speak. Young generation, all of you, you speak yeah. English, yes. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. and 20 uh, or 30 percent uh, speaks Russian in our age. Too many can speak Russian because uh, today English uh, is more important than Russian. Thanks. Yeah. Have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> Let me know if you're impressed with this neighborhood. Quite a contrast to the old Belisi, right? See you in my next video, guys.